Hello everyone and welcome to the first level design video in our survival game series. This one is going to be much more art based than usual, but I'll still give away some cool tips, tricks and techniques along the way. The first thing I do is take a look at the reference photo and maximize it on my secondary screen so I can always have a look at it. I then start sculpting away on a new terrain. I start out using a large and smooth brush. This way I can shape the overall feel of the mountains. I then go in with a more detailed one to give it the rough and edgy look. This way it will actually look like stone. I then add a simple grass texture. It's always good to see how your terrain looks with textures applied. Even though it's just a simple one like this one. I then add the outer boundaries and some more detail. This is a good time to make the terrain look less flat, so I start sculpting away on that. I then rename it and add the default border, import package, border basic. I then drag it into my scene, set the position variables to zero and make sure it covers the whole terrain. Now I can just use the height brush to sculpt down on the terrain and the water will start appearing. I then bring up the water a little bit and cover some of the mistakes where it goes through the ground. Now I add a path. This is done by using the height tool. I then select all of the different props and move them upwards. Here you see me creating the dirt path texture. I made this using a photorealistic image taken with a real camera. I then apply some filters to make it look more smooth and a bit cartoony. This just adds a nice mood to the game. I then paint it onto the terrain. I then load in a nice stone texture and apply it to the mountains. It's a good idea to have the same texture applied with this different opacity settings. This way you can have variety and nice blending. Here you just see me making the path a bit darker. To make the path blend better between grass and dirt, I apply another texture. I do the same to the water. I now use a large brush with plenty of detail to make the grass look less clean. Now it's time to position the objects around the scene. I make sure to select the fence and drag it down to the project pane to make a prefab out of it. I then make some empty game objects and drag four fences into one of them. This way I can have packs of fences so I don't have to duplicate one and then move and so on. Make sure to rename them properly so you can quickly find them in your scene. The same technique is used for applying the lamps. I now want to apply fire to the fireplace, so I import the default partic particles. I drag in the flames, position them and play around with the light. I would like it to be bigger and softer, so I add an extra light that can take care of that. I then drag it under the campfire prefab and drag it on into the project pane. Now I clean up the hierarchy by deleting old objects. I then import a dock to sit by the water. I create a custom collider by making a series of empty game objects with colliders attached. Finally I position it, make it a prefab and make the last changes to the textures. 
Here's the final result. Let me know if you like this type of video in the comments, since I think it's a nice addition to the ordinary scripting ones. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.